Do you remember the whole scandal with Sue Gray and her appointment as Keir Starmer's chief of staff? Well, that's still going on. Well, now we have Sky News essentially helping the Labour Party with their cover-up. Well, it's okay, because we are here to expose them. Oh, the mainstream media. Sky News, we had uh, no viewers these days. They are still drowning, but trying their best to survive with the tiny, tiny viewership. This channel continues to beat the ratings of the mainstream media because TV is dead. We are the media, and now we are here to expose some codes of Sky News. So he did this exclusive story on Sky News. He said, mystery solved. Sue Gray's first contact with Keir Starmer's operation was last October, so only a few months ago in 2022. And there were multiple meetings between him and his office and her before Sky News broke the news of the appointment in March, which was a couple of months ago. The whole scandal has been the fact that because um, Sue Gray was working as a senior civil servant at the heart of Cabinet Office, she was also then appointed to become the investigator of the party gate with Boris Johnson, all that. And her report uh, essentially helped uh, Harriet Harman's committee a privilege committee, their investigation into Boris Johnson's party gate. In the middle of all this, she was offered a job and she accepted the job as Keir Starmer's chief of staff. So the whole scandal that we've been talking about over the last few months has been about when did they first start talking with each other? Was she was it when she was still obviously working uh, during these uh, investigations or was it after? So Sky News came out and said. We now have evidence, guys. Everything's fine uh, because uh, Sue Gray and Keir Starmer's office, they started getting involved with each other afterwards. She was no longer involved with any of that stuff. Sam Coates said, The Labour Party held talks with senior civil servant Sue Gray for at least four months before the chief of staff role was announced. So the timescale showed that discussions only began after her investigation into Partygate concluded. Well, while the part of Privileges Committee of MPs was sitting, was gathering evidence about Boris's behaviour. So Sky came and said, it's, everything's fine now, let's move on. I'm not really sure if it's the job of Sky needs to tell us that, but okay. Then, uh, thanks to uh, Harry Cole and his son, we discovered that, well, that, that's a little bit of a lie, because we now have new evidence. Harry Cole did more investigation and more digging, and we now discover that Sue Gray was actually still working on Partygate investigation after the secret talks with Labour started over this uh, chief of staff job. So what happened there? Let's find out more. Because we now know that uh, the Labour Party has not disputed that uh, Sir Keir Starmer um, first approached um, Sue Gray in October last year. Okay, they're not disputing that. But they've insisted that she had not played any role in the Harriet Harman investigation, the Privileges Committee. Okay, they're still trying to refuse that that happened. But the claim by the Labour Party has been blown apart by new written evidence of her central role in the process. Separately, the Sun and Harry Cole has learned uh, that the top civil servant, Sue Gray, also continued to play a key role in highly sensitive public appointments well into 2023, so quite recently. In mid-January of this year, she put forward a candidate for a £110,000 a year job in the civil service, despite claims that she had completely left the cabinet officer's propriety and ethics team by then. So what happened there? Why are well, the Labour Party not being honest about that? Why are Sky News feeling that it's their job to help with the Labour cover-up? And why is there no outrage from the rest of the mainstream media outlets? <laughs> why should it be my job? to talk about this. It, it doesn't matter. We will do it. We still get more hits than Sky News and BBC and Channel 4 and all the others. But it should be the job of the establishment to find out if someone or a group of them are working against their own interest. This is not really good for the health of our democracy. The little bit of it that we still have left. It's absolutely disgusting and toxic. But we will be keeping guys posted on this as usual as we find out more evidence going forward and uh, shortly we are gonna also start our live coverage of tonight's uh, local election results uh, across uh, the country um, i'm gonna uh, do a scheduled live stream in a minute and uh, we'll be 
uh, giving you guys uh, all the updates and what's going on, all the key battlegrounds. Uh, and there's absolutely no need to watch the mainstream media. TV is dead because we are the media.